Hey everybody, my name is Walker Payne. I work at Gluru as a data scientist. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to go through the onboarding for Gluru. In this case, specifically, we'll be showing you how to onboard both an adult uh, type one diabetic and their spouse. So we've got two phones here. One is the diabetic, one is their spouse. We're gonna link them up into the same glue crew and see how that process looks. So let's get right into it. Um, I've already got Gluru installed on my iPhone. I'm just gonna go ahead and open that up on the left phone here. You'll be greeted with a couple of cards you can swipe through that show you what's going on, what Gluru is all about. If you need to change the language, you can do that here. Tap on the flags at the bottom, change them around. I'm gonna stick with English. And then we'll go through and create a new account. So welcome to Gluru. Who's the person with diabetes you'd like to help? In this scenario, it's gonna be me. So I'll hit continue. It'll give me a nickname. My name's Jane. I'm just making up this person. Um, <clears throat> we'll say I'm a type one diabetic and I was diagnosed three to five years ago. My goals, I want to, yeah, I want to display my data on other devices. Maybe I want to improve my health metrics. But I also definitely want to share data with family and friends. That's kind of what we're doing this for. And to achieve your goals, we're going to want to turn on notifications that'll let Guru notify you of blood glucose alerts, device monitoring, and more. So these are actually already turned on on my phone, but you'll get a pop-up when you install for the first time. I'll just hit continue. We'll also turn off banner notifications because these can be kind of distracting. Um, it's just the way that iOS works with these banner notifications. I'll hit this, make this change. You can see I've actually already got it unselected, but you'll just hit banners here, unselect it, and then tap back to Gluru in the top left. Do I use a CGM? Yes, I'm on the G6. And how about a pump or ID as well? And I'm gonna sign in as Jane here. And we have verified access. Now we will review the terms of use and the privacy policy and the medical warnings. Um, Gluru has got my name and my Gmail logo profile picture. So that all looks good. And now I can add other people to my glue crew. This is like your support group of people that come together to help you with your diabetes. Maybe you're a parent with a child who has diabetes. Um, so I'm going to add my spouse, and there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either copy the link and just text it to them. You can use the QR code here, have them scan it on their phone, or um, you can hit send link to spouse and use whatever app you want. I'm just gonna use Gmail for now and send them an email. And you can see that it auto populates the email for you, the subject line, and sends them the link. So, as soon as I do this, we should actually get an email on this phone on the right, and you can see it came in right there, so that's awesome. I'm gonna delete. This is an old one that I'm gonna clear out. So we'll get to that phone here in a second. Back to the iPhone. Did you invite the spouse? Yes, I did. Uh, now let's connect your CGM. So I'm actually personally, Walker, not Jane, is a type one diabetic, and I'm gonna put in my Dexcom credentials. This is Dexcom Share, what you use to log into Clarity and things like that. And we've connected, we've taken the data from Dexcom, and we can see my current blood glucose level is 88 milligrams per deciliter. And it looks like the uh, last reading was one minute ago. So this reading is one minute old. That's awesome. And now we're all set. This is just a quick overview of the app. You can look, pause this, look at this. It's also available on our website and a getting started guide. I'm just gonna continue this and we'll talk through some of the things that pop up. So when we get into the app, there's a lot to see. Um, we've got some of these uh, tool tips that pop up in the top. So you can see, you can tap on the main menu here and that'll pull that up. You can search log entries. We don't have any log entries because this is a brand new group. So that's kind of, uh, we'll keep that in the back pocket for now. Um, current blood glucose level, that's your main indicator in the top right there, 88. Again, one minute ago, that's how old that is. The negative three means that the previous reading was 88 plus three, which is 91. So it's slightly trending down, but still flat arrow. And then there's a little green line next to it on the left. That's like a compressed view of the last two or three hours of readings. So it just gives you a quick, quick oversight of like, Generally, how are we doing? It's like a straight line up or straight line down or pretty flat. 
Um, so I'm going to dismiss these for now. We'll see some more that pop up at the bottom. This is where you can add food, exercise, medicine, new devices, stuff like that. You just tap on this plus button. You'll see a bunch of different uh, options you can use here. There's also the ability to send a like. You know, you can just send a little thumbs up, acknowledgement to whoever else is in your glue crew. Right now we don't have anyone, but we're about to get our spouse Robert in here. So he'll be able to see that. You can just type directly in the chat um, or log with the plus button as we've already seen. And you can speak an entry as well if you want to dictate or scan a barcode or take a picture of your food, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to dismiss these again. And now we're looking pretty good to go. Oh, actually, the last thing I'll do before we get Robert in here is I want to enter a prescription. So prescription is what enables the blood glucose predictions to work in Gluru. So specifically, this is your carb ratio and your insulin sensitivity factor throughout the day. Now, right now, you can see that we've come into this view and there's only one prescription here. And we've got a carb ratio of 10 and an insulin sensitivity factor of 100. Carb ratio is pretty close for me personally in real life, but I'm going to change the ISF to 20. Um, that feels a little bit more accurate for me. And again, you can split this. Typically, people will have multiple carb ratios and insulin sensitivity factors throughout the day. So you want to have one for you know, breakfast time, one for lunch dinner and one for the evening slash overnight you can split it up however you want i'm just going to leave it as one for right now to keep things simple but you would probably want to split it up because they can change pretty significantly throughout the day all right so we've added that and i'm going to switch over to the android phone now and this is robert's phone and we're going to join jane's glue crew so we got the email we're going to tap the link easy peasy it loads up what this does is it copies something into your clipboard. So that's that little icon down there, install with invite code. We copy that, takes us to the Play Store. I'm gonna open it up and download it. And before we know it, we are in Gluru. So you get a little pop-up at the bottom that says Gluru, check for an invitation and then paste it from the clipboard. And this says Jane wants my help, so that's great. I wanna go help Jane. I'm going to hit start. I'm going to sign in. I'm going to make sure to sign in with the email, the email address that received that email from Jane. That's pretty important. So I'm signing in as Robert. You've verified our access and we're going to accept, you know, you can tap on these to make sure you, you want to read the terms of use, privacy policy and medical warnings. I've already read them. So I'm going to accept and agree. Um, in order to get the best, performance out of Gluru, we recommend allowing unrestricted battery usage. So that's some, definitely something you'll want to enable. For now, I'm just going to tap, I'll do this later, but definitely you should do that. And get the same overview of the app. We hit continue. In this case, we're going to get all the same little pop-up modals because this is our first time in. I'm just going to dismiss these guys. And now we're in. So we're seeing the exact same thing that Jane is seeing. Um, if we go to the settings here, dismiss menu help, and go to glue crew, we can now see that Jane is the person with diabetes and spouse, which is me, I'm Robert. I'm gonna change my name to Robert. Uh, I'm in here as a crew member, so I'm supporting Jane. So a crew member can do most of the things that the person with diabetes can do. Let's say hypothetically, I'm going back to the iPhone. Jane logged uh, breakfast of we'll say eggs, toast, and avocado. So she just had breakfast. We get some uh, little awards and badges for making different uh, types of announcements and things like that. And now we can see in the chart that Jane logged 30 grams of breakfast. Um, but what if she forgot to log the insulin bolus? Let's go look at the um, predicted carbs on board and insulin on board. We can see that we have an estimated blood glucose in a couple hours of 147. And again, that's because Gluru doesn't know that you logged any insulin for that. So let's say Jane forgot. We're going to go to the Android phone, and this is Robert. And he's going to log that she took 
uh, what do we say, 30 grams, so three units. So boom, Robert just throws it in there and now we have a complete history of what just happened. Um, but you might be thinking the timing is a little off. Generally, Jane likes to pre-bolus. So she probably pre-bolused 15 minutes and Robert knows this. Um, so what you can do is if you wanna change the time, you can just swipe on any message and move it forward or backwards in time. I'm gonna move it 15 minutes ago, do a 15 minute pre-bolus. And now we can see that she had eggs, toast, and avocado at 1041. And 15 minutes before that, if we scroll back in time, there was the dose of three units. So opening up the onboard tab on the top left, we can see now a prediction. Look at that, it's perfect because our carb ratio is perfect. Uh, it doesn't quite work out like this in real life all that often, but yeah, that's pretty much how it works. So now Jane and Robert are working together. They're set up in the same glue crew and they can see all the same information. So we'll give each other a little thumbs up down here. Boom, boom. And that's pretty much it. Um, I hope this video helped. Leave a comment if you have any other questions and thanks very much for watching.